All right, sorry about that, everyone who's watching. I don't know why. Like I said, I need, I need something in Chile to be able to right-click to have a window. I need it because we need wins. We need proper win counter. Want a way to increment the wins? Not increment, set. Okay. But I don't know what it is in Chile. I haven't been had a chance to find out. I've been really busy with a bunch of things, so I haven't really had a chance to actually deal with that. And I didn't realize it'd be a problem because I thought that people would actually be sensible and stick to the same teams forever, which they should be doing. Like, pick a team and stick with it. That's your team. So are you out. all good now? No. I can't figure out why the... W I loaded the win counter and it's not changing anything. I don't know why it's not reloading the ZK data. <sighs> Makes no sense to me. Like, is it, gonna, is it gonna take the proper win counter stuff or not? <sighs> so annoying. You want to tell us something. What? Apparently Whatever. it's not even a best of three, it's just, a, it's just three games. Oh, it's three games? Yeah, it's just a league, three games. Oh, they I played. thought it was best of three, because the last time they only played two. Well, we still need to know who won. It's like, just don't switch teams. Don't switch out your team members, please. So you're looking at the game? Yes, I'm looking at the game. Sorry, just just talk. I'll I'll get back in when I calm down. Well, okay, GBC had an early, quite a good push. They took a bit of land. Although Mean has, they're getting a stinger up, which. They may be able to kill I the Banish is going to kill that. Just in time, but it was a close one. Support comps in really bad position too. Oh yeah, Forever is Forever is not in the best spot. I don't know why they have such a forward support comp. That's not how you use a support comp. Not carefully anyway. They get a support comp killed. Uh, support comp's pretty great. I mean they're good, just that's an easy way to get them killed if you're not careful. Because right now Forever and Burp are both very much on the front lines. This is a perfect timing if Orphelius wanted to come in. Okay, they wanted to come in and deal uh, with this. He could use ravens. The ravens would just kill it, I think. And the crashes would hit in time. He needs to put them out the front if he wants to down a raven before it does damage. Yeah, I don't think Although they're those aware. ravens are all damaged. Burp's a bit, a bit stuffed as an air player. He's got four very damaged ravens, and these are going to take forever to reload them. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't build a pad. That's usually what air players do. I guess they didn't want to dedicate too much. So his air's a bit bit out for now. So basically we're playing two, two on three at the moment. Uh, GBC at the Reaper out, which is what they do, but they've got a Stardust which kills Reapers. You mean Banish? Oh yeah. That's Ace, a race Stardust. Yeah, that's the thing. There was, a, there was a timing. The timing is over. There was a timing though. It did exist. Yes, there was. Well, he could still slip around the bottom side. Uh, he doesn't have to yeah, go through the Stardust by any means. That's true. He I mean, the Stardust just is ignore it. Yeah, exactly. They've put down a Stardust Reaper, they should just ignore it. And yep. go somewhere else. It looks like that's what he's trying now. Mm hmm. Burp is putting down a um, shield factory. Yeah, that actually started a little they while ago, but it's, it's stalling. Now. However, that's. No, apparently they're switching out. They're, they've stopped doing that. They're going straight for Wyvern instead, and that will be, I guess, for anti-Reaper. They're still putting their shield factory. They looks like they want a particular unit. Oh, okay, there we go. No, assist Thug at this point. Not really sure if anything else. Just looks like Thug. I'm not so sure about what Thug is for here. Yeah, but I we'll mean, see. I guess for tanking Reaper shots? I don't know. Otherwise, I'm not sure. Well, those defenders are doing quite a lot of work. Powerful and... Scorcher push on the top. Yeah. Getting a lot of the defenses. Wow, and... nice, nice from the sponge. Uh, Breaking but through it. At least through the raiding. Oh no, yeah. he's going to raid those mixes now. That's great. Nice. They broke through. Good Just for them. barely slips through. Yeah, and probably. And they should be able to outrun this raven. That I should be able to kill the raven in the process. Because it's a raider. Too. Yep. Well, Burf has to just not let that happen. 
Nope, that raven's dead. Going to. Oh, that's right. Yeah, everything slowed down when it's close to the ground. Well, just ravens. Yeah, it's true, just ravens that. That's I rather odd dive. Well makes them not die to raid. Makes raiders able to raid into an ant player. True. I mean, it except does seem a little weird. But... Yes, except of course Swiss. But that's what Swiss are for. It's just for dealing with that sort of thing. I don't know, it looks like yeah. GBC is going to be able well, to take this back. Well, they might with these scorches. Just maybe. It's definitely in a good position to do so. I think that Reaper is... Is it going to die? It's got a thousand health left. doesn't look like it's uh, going to die. they really wanted to get it die. No, it's going to live. Yeah, it's they wanted that to a bit to too bad. A thousand health still. They wanted that too bad. Although, but, another set of Scorchers is coming in. It was still worth it. They've, they've, got, a, they've got all that land. That yeah. Just, just have to spam. That's spam territory advantage. Reclaim. About yep. two and a half, three thousand. And we don't see reclaim happening though. The sponge is not taking that back. Oh, they want we that talk. reaper. They really want that reaper. They dived again. Oh wow. Well, that reaper's not oh, dying no, anytime it's... soon. That's the yeah, one problem. That's just... a lot of wasted metal. That, that's yeah. lost. I, I don't really see the motivation behind that. Nor do I. I these for a reaper. Especially when it's that far into their base. I mean, There's yeah, no reclaim go anyway. around. It's not going to be used in the front lines. Just go around, kill everything else. I mean, the south side is the only area where Mean actually has an advantage in this game. GBC has taken the north side pretty strongly, and they're taking the center fairly strongly too. So the south is the only place where Mean really has any good position. They've got a pillage at killing the Stardust though. Well, oh, any kind of good position. Yeah, one more shot. That, that Stardust is that gone. That entire south side is broken. Dead. It might die. It might miss. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> well, okay, it misses and hits the solar collector because there's it can't hit, miss nothing or can't miss everything. There's gonna be something there, and it kills everything behind it. That's what I mean. It's gonna if it misses the stardust, it hits the stuff behind the stardust. Well, GBC's switched into Reaper. No, sorry, Ravager. By the look of it. Yeah, well, Snuggle, Snuggle Base. Says. Snuggle Base has Sponge. Continuing to go for Scorcher from the looks of it. Oh, the Wyvern is finally done. Planning to kill a commander. Ooh. Not quite. Good attempt, but yeah, 3,000 health is too much. Battlecom's lost the ability the to walk, though. Dead. I saw it happen. Just thrown about too much. Yeah. It just has to slide everywhere. Too much damage. And Stardust is dead. Stardust is down. So whenever Orphelius wants to, they can just push in. There's not much left. A couple defenders and a Lotus that against heavy tanks. Not really the but focus. Though. Is already pushed in. Yeah, Just I mean they're not even focusing minutes. on the south side, but that south side's still broken. There's I not love, much that can be done there. That uh, two players spike right through the mid. It looked like Snuggle and Orphelius had been trying to get something going together the whole game, but really it uh, came together for this push. And I, as you can see, they broke it through. Yep. It's really overlooked. Uh, sort of dogpiling onto a single enemy and then breaking through the lines. That's something that you don't see as often as you probably should in a team game. Yeah, so I think they're going to that now. They may get it. Now it looks like they're just going to fall short. Okay, well that is game. There they are. So GBC takes game two. So it's one and one. GBC. GBC. Yeah, thanks. Sorry, man. guys. Okay, I'm a little biased leave your clan bias match. at home. Oh, you are at home. Well, just, yeah, you know what I mean. When commentating, try not to be biased. I'll do my They've best. voted for the resign, but I'm going for it yet. Well, it looks like... Who's gone for the resign right now? Okay, Clone... Clone has no confidence in their ability to win. The other two seem to be a little bit more brave, but they'll probably... Yeah, they'll, they should fall fairly soon, too. You know, the south side is falling apart. Not really I don't even left. think they have an answer to the Reapers alone, let alone the Raptors. They tried to stabilize the north. top, but the yeah. bottom snap's being killed. Yep. Yeah, the Shieldbot factory's down, and the Cloakbot factory's gonna go down. For Actually, wait, Cloakbot? Did Forever just start building that? Okay. Nope, Mean's not resigning yet. No one's not confident, but the other two might have a plan. I don't see what we can do at this point. The reclaim on the top. It isn't being taken quickly, but it's going to be taken eventually. Yeah, I mean, it's quite a lot. If they break the top, they might be able to. The top's fairly strong. 
Okay, there we go. And now Mean has there Chrono Towel. So that is going to be on to game three. I don't know what map this is going to be because that's going to be Mean Machine's choice of map. But that will be something. That will be a map. Yeah, that game, that was... Sorry about the technical problems, but yeah, that was a strong showing from GBC there. Not sure if that was their trick. That seemed like a fairly standard yeah. vehicle play. That didn't seem like anything unusual. Like, I've seen... Most of the time when I see team games do vehicle play, it's that sort of... You know, push of Scorchers and Ravagers. That's, that seemed normal. Quite ordinary with GBC expanding a bit more rapidly, and then doing very well on the top. Mm hmm. Okay, so we're at one and one. They're going for Titan Duel by the look of it. Oh, interesting. Titan Duel it is because that's actually not the. I don't know if it's the best team out. It's going to be pretty cramped, but we'll see how that goes. I would think it'd be cramped though. I mean, I'm that not entirely sure. pretty good. Is it? Even though it's diagonal and has it actually scales quite well to larger cool. games, even. Okay. Oh, whoops. That's good then. I think it's especially a good fit for three v three. You tend to have you know one player on each team go for each corner, and then one trying to secure the mid, and then of course the uh, sort of in and out of different lanes as we saw in the last. Yeah, I mean, with a map that small, and also, I mean, Titan Duel is going to have that property too, is that because of the diagonal aspect. But yeah, with Red Comet, given how small the map was, that did allow them to do nice weaving plays, which is really what they needed. Yeah, I'd say that was the differentiator that let them break through. I, I don't really see any other reason that they um, that they won the game except for working together well. Have they changed? Who was on the last team? It was... It was Orpheus, the Sponge, and... I thought it was Snuggle Base. Wait, let me check, let me check. I have it written down. I think they're still it the was, same. Yeah, they're, it's the same, yeah. It's the same team. Yeah. Snuggle Base is still in. You could always lie to the spectators and call it an exhibition match. It's not an exhibition match. It's a Clan Wars match. That's, I need to call it that in order to have it be more... Like, yeah. Build up enthusiasm for it. Make people think this is a game call to watch. Call it a league match. Well, it's yeah, it match is. That That's true. It, but it doesn't quite mean that it's actually a series. Okay, fair enough. But it is still three games, and it's good to know what the scores are. I didn't realize that it was... I thought it was like if someone won 2-1 or something like that, it worked. But whatever. If they win 2-1, sorry, if they win 2-0, then they get a chance to get a third point off them. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Well, at any rate... They're talking in chat, they should really be on Mumble or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised they saying aren't. he's going to go, although, although we get to see what's going on. Claw's going to make rapiers, apparently. Yeah, but the thing is, if we get to see what's going on, I mean, okay, it's a two-minute delay, so people who are watching the stream... Like if if the players are watching the stream, which I hope they aren't, but if they are, it's going to be a little while delayed. But that's grand strategy stuff, so I don't know how delayed that can be meaningfully. So yeah, thankfully the lineups did yeah, not change. Delay that kind of stuff for change. five minutes at least. I can't feasibly do that without it not being a stream anymore. Actually, no, I, that would need to, to delay be... zero K for the whole game if people were watching. Yeah, I mean, if the that's what I'd like is that the game itself is delayed, so the players are several minutes ahead of the spectators. But then I can stream, and people on the stream can respond immediately. And the stream works perfectly, and the game is still delayed, and everything is happy. That would be perfect. The only problem is the logistic issues. Oh, you of want to delay the answer. actual spectating? Yeah, yeah, like the, the the game it's in within the engine. You could always ignore the fact that the game was played, and then just watch the replay, but not knowing the result. Yeah, but that's not the same for from a spectating perspective when it's live, especially when you're dealing with larger tournaments. 
I, the one day tournaments, yes. I can't do that. That's not feasible. Although if the if the players are ahead by several minutes, they'd know who won before you did. Well, the players would, but the spectators, I guess they might. I don't know. It's weird. It'll, it'll make more sense players when there's would. more people watching. Anyway. Yeah, it would. A gunship right, vehicle, vehicle, team. gunship. And gunship, vehicle, cloaky, so... Yeah, although... Slightly uneven. Why is GBC putting the gunship at the front? Oh, are they going for... No, I thought they were going for a gnat rush. No, going for rapiers. Pretty normal. That's weird, though, that they're at the yep, front. rapiers from both factories. But GBC is more Many vulnerable. more constructors. Constructors from GBC. Yeah, Mean is pretty aggressive right now. I mean, they have their constructors up. No, not even. Just just Burp. The only one going for the constructors is Burp. Everyone else is going hyper-aggressive. Whereas GBC was Dart Mason. Yeah, a little two Dart Mason. So this is... Although, unfortunately, the sponge is... Two Dart, two Mason. Oh, no, it's building radar. But that's the thing. GBC is relying entirely on those rapiers, while Mean, on the other hand, relying entirely on... Although, in this. remember, they had three commanders in a corner. That's a lot of coverage. That's true, so they're probably assuming they can just assist can, build if needed. They can wiggle one of their commanders to pretty much deal with any incoming threat which a commander can kill. You know, something which a commander can't kill is a bit more of a worry. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah, for, for GBC side, for defense. Although, yes, given they for went defense. for, well, yeah, recon and two battle comms, yeah, that, that seems like they're probably going to do that. Yeah, they they just expand. They had the commanders really pushing out, whereas, whereas um, Means sort of fall on a bit of sleep with their commander pushing. Well, Forever's doing a fine job, but yeah, Clone and Burp. I mean, Clone's kind of in the back, just building power. Yeah, well, you have to be, commander should be out a little ginger with your support comm, especially on a map like this, because you already know there's going to be a ton of Scorchers on the field. Yeah, Burp. And here oh, it looks man, like Burp is going to lose their very position. Well, they're not going to lose the commander because there's a warrior coming in to say. Oh no, they might still. Oh, they might. There's some ball no. behind it, yeah. Yeah, no, no, that's not going to. No, that's that'll be suicide there. to do. Rapiers just deal with scorches. Yeah. That situation. But, uh, so is that the reasoning behind uh, such early rapiers from both teams? Is anti scorcher? It's, I'm a little confused by it, honestly. I don't really see the motivation. I don't know. Rapier is quite a good riot, basically. Well, it's and, also, quite fast, and it's also quite decent at rating, though. too, if you need to take out a couple of metal extractors. I mean, heck, it would have probably helped against the commander, too, if they needed it. So, it's a versatile unit. You might as well. If you're going to go for gunships early, at least. Now, whether you should go for gunships early is another matter. But apparently, both teams have, so... No real advantage or I disadvantage either way. It looks fairly powerful. They've got a um, trident coming out from GBC. Yeah, GBC has their trident. Mean has... Continuing getting rid of razor. Mm hmm. I mean, he's just going all rapiers. Yeah. Some gremlins, though. I guess my only problem so, is that razors, to me, I think shut down rapiers really well, especially for cost. Yeah, razors are great for that. So it just seems so easy to counter. But I guess we'll have to see how it plays out. Well, no one's but built a the front yet. is pretty wide. Oh, no, yeah, that's a, a good point. There's a razor for oh, no, GBC. Yeah, forever has, forever has a razor and GBC and they've got to try to. Although, Although GBC what? has more AA. Mm hmm. And there we go. Burst Manor now getting hit down, getting killed, and two scorches remain. Gee, so Burp just Thanks. bit of a blow. And it's not like they're on the bottom too to help out. Well. Hmm. Well, that's that's difficult for me to deal with, but I don't think that's going to be game losing at this point. Still a pain. I don't know. GBC, they their early commander push and double masons really paid off. They've got a lot of the map. Oh that's yeah. I mean, out. they've definitely got. Like their territory is, if it's gonna, anything's going to win GBC the game, it's going to be their territory. I think the commander kill, while useful, is probably more a symptom of that. Like it's probably not going to be what won them the game. Just the fact that they were so they were so confident about being able to push out, and they pushed out, and made pushing out work. Although, main 
about 2,000 metal in gremlins and rapier, which is a bit... They're really defensive units. You can't push into defences because the razors will stop you. Yeah, and, and you the really need to push somewhere to take away territory. Oh, and one of the gremlins revealing itself by accident. Burp not paying attention, unfortunately. Yeah, the gremlins have been dying all over the place like that. Not great. And our fearless commander not really threatened. That the scorchers are going to be a threat, though. So forever trying to get revenge on that commander. And that commander is unmorphed, I think. Yeah, level zero that commander. Commanders can easily just jump into that hole and be alive forever. That's not a recon com though. That's a battle com. Though it could dig a hole. Which commander are you talking about? Talking about Orpheus's commander, over in the south. Or sorry, not south, the center. Right. Sponge's commander. Yeah, Sponge could just jump. And they tried to kill Forever's. That was unwise. Failed. At least another yes. layout of the defenses, but yeah, that was not wise. That but look at the metals, 40, they got 50 for GBC, I know, 34, so 35 to 50 in the metal income, mm -hmm. which is really big. Yeah, so at this point Quite GBC is, is still ahead, it's just a question of how are they going to be able to deal with that? What are they going to push from here? Or when are they going to push and where are they going to push, because means not done yet. Even if they are behind. They don't have to push very fast. Mean has almost all of their army as rapiers, which just can't push into the defenses. The ra you know, I agree, but it looks like and you're, they are going and you're to. Immune. They are going to be patient, though. GBC appears to be very keen on just trying to close this out right now, which could be their downfall. And another shield buff factor. I don't know. They, they're building up now. GBC's been quite, at least, snuggle based. Is, He's putting defenses up. That's true. He's Orpheus is the one that's being. Orpheus is being more aggressive, and the sponge kind of too. Orpheus is sponge. using his, his aircraft very defensively. I'd Sorry, say. Oh, no, the sponge is being super forward. aggressive. The sponge is the one that's being really aggressive, throwing units in. Snugglebase is definitely patient about it. They're just waiting. They're just getting their economy, building their, up their overdrive, not worrying too much about any, anything yeah, they've got else. They've a razor and they've got a start. They're doing fine. Yeah, so Orpheus is good. Sorry, not Orpheus. Snugglebase is good. Orpheus going for heavy tanks because the razor's up and there's not much they can do. So we have additional shield and heavy tank. One for mean, one or shield for mean, heavy tank for GBC. But this map is heavier or not, harder. It's harder, so the tank should actually do something. Unlike in that yeah, six times harder. Yeah, unlike Banded Plains where it was just death. It's like they got mired in a swamp. Because that's pretty much what happened. Because that's pretty much what Bandit Plains is. And forever just... Well, still losing... I mean, losing some skirmish, that's not the, uh, that big of a deal. I mean, yeah, the sponge is getting rid of units, but that's all inside of their territory. That's reclaim. And they can't afford to trade. They've got much worse economy. Oh, I that's guess true. the reclaim <laughs> does make it worthwhile. Yeah, that's the thing, is that it's, it's reclaim, so... But only if they reclaim it. But they are. I mean, mean is reclaiming that in... section. The economy is still quite imbalanced. Yeah, 40 to 60. And GBC so... we've dug in. Dug in on the right. Not quite on the bottom, but it's... There's nothing really to attack the bottom. There's some rapiers. Not much else. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love this tank switch in the mid from Orphilius, though. Yeah, that's just now getting up, so we do have... So you have that... Is just Banishers? Banishers, Reapers? Let's see. Looks like it will be... Banishers, sponge... Reapers, probably. Actually, the Sponge also going for a tank switch, so two tanks which is from GBC. Both the Sponge and Orphilius going for it. The Sponge is actually going for Reapers. Orphilius going for Banishers. But the Sponge has decided to have it in their main base rather than forward. Well, what is better than one tank switch? <laughs> A tank switch in a strider hub? No. That was wrong. Two. Oh, I got it wrong. I got bases. Got a paler just messing up the right. Well, they, as the shield bot factory is easily in range. Yeah, this but they're going it. for the stardust instead. I think they're going to try to break it open with. Yeah, now they're now they've broken it open. I think they're going to go into the scorchers. I don't think the scorchers. you scouted the. I don't think they've scouted the shield bot factory yet. They have not. Yeah, they see scouting. radar. They actually do see shields. They should know. They see shields. 
They can see the felon's well, okay, shield. They know it exists, but they don't know it's just outside their line of sight. No, not yet. Not yet. So both players have gotten, or both teams have gotten fairly entrenched at this point. In, but this is what I meant. Snuggleways having opened up that Stardust is going with the Scorchers. That's exactly what I expected to have happen. And that should be... That should be really powerful. The Rapiers are the only thing that's going to get in the way. Yeah. Which, actually, they get in the way pretty strongly, so never much. mind. I shouldn't say only thing. That, that was... That was a problem. Yeah, I don't think it's... I don't think there's any need to get so crazy with these Scorchers. I think that GBC can just hunker down and build out an overwhelming tank force and steamroll. I mean, they already have, what, 60-70% of that? Yeah, so I don't really think they need to be suiciding Scorchers or doing anything too crazy at all. Just just eco, build up an overwhelming force, and then wait for a moment to steamroll. Well, I think I agree with what Snuggle Base did just because it gave them information. I mean, Snuggle Base didn't know it was there. They needed to find out, and they did. Like, that's the thing. Snuggle Base didn't find know. Find out about the factory. It's probably cheaper they didn't, more but cost effective anyway. to just build a few swifts. Uh, anyway. is trying to attack, but it's not going to work. The shield's oh, completely yeah. drained, so the felon doesn't do anything. Well, the felon's oh, dead now. Oh, it goes down, so that's a... Yeah, they can't... That was just... That... Ah, those Scorchers that are... That was more efficient for GBC. GBC gained on that, they couldn't afford to do that. Mm-hmm. I mean, GBC is, has doubled the military right now. They are way ahead. I think double the military, machine is they have... About 50% more income now. Yeah. It's kind of funny because yeah, I think GBC was 40 ma making GBCs taunts. Are... Like, remember the forum thread there? I think Mean was taunting a bit, and it's like, well, <laughs> I don't know. It did take game one. Bandit Plains is definitely your they map. Did. I mean, this game isn't over, but GBC is And they were quite heavy earlier. That's true in game two in Red Comet. It's just that it broke. But this, yeah, this is going but really But the Reaper Army is up. Uh, the Reaper Army probably gets scared away by those Zeus's. Maybe, I don't know. It looks like they're going to go peripheral sniping. I mean, Forever's commander is uh, right uh, up there. Oh no, that's... two Stardusts. That is bad. That walked is really bad, but it doesn't matter. Dusts. I mean, for Clone at least, Clone's figuring they're dead. I don't know. Oh, but they they might get out. I mean, those Stardusts the Reapers killed off may two get Reapers. Out. Well, Reaper and a Pillager. I mean, sorry, Reaper and a Banisher. Which means... No, I think both... The, I think it was only three Reapers, they survived. Oh, never mind. Okay, so just the Banisher got, got killed. But still... At least that's uh, outside the secure. Re the, the reason is the Stardust was slowed by the um, Rapiers, and all the Rapiers were killed. So there's the Air Force down. Yeah, that's a big blow. But it's not like the Air Force... Oh, no, it's not being built. Orphelius is not continuing to build their Air Force up while Clone is not building anything. They're trying to get another Shieldbot factory as they've Seven just lost Reapers their old now. one. I mean, I don't think that... I don't think GBC knew that the Shieldbot factory was there, but they did shoot it. They did kill it. And now the new one has to be built further back. That slowed Kloon down quite a lot. But Snuggle Base is pushing with defenses and Wolverines because he has the economy to do anything, really. Yep. So, do it slow. Do it careful. And they've got seven Reapers coming in. They can just run those Reapers right into the base and kill off everything. They don't seem to be no, doing that, though. Zeus's. Yeah, for some reason they're engaging the Zeus's. I guess because they're there? Well, they can do so efficiently if you can kill your opponent's army. If they can trade evenly, they're doing very well. True. But Although it looks economy. like the Naomi, they're just going for the win. They don't even want to trade anymore. They just want to kill it. I don't think they should be wasting time on the Zeus's, though. Just go north and uh, either route clone or well, just dive straight into the back of the base. They don't have to not waste time. The Zeus is <laughs> probably the last threat if he gets a decent ball. That's a good point. Well, the Rapiers might be a bit annoying, and there's an ultimatum coming up as well for forever. That's what I was uh, concerned about, but I don't think we'll see that in play here. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to last that long. No, it's, it's pretty I over. The ultimatum is going to do anything. Nope, never mind. Mean throws in the towel and... Win oh, damn it! That's not a mean win. That should be two to one for GBC, this stupid thing. Why is it broken? Whatever. Win counter bugs oh, there aside. You go. What? There you go. 
No, I mean, the, it's showing up for me as a win for Mean, not GBC. Yeah, me too. That was it's quite interesting how it does that. Well, it's not interesting. It's wrong. It's I don't know why it, it started. I, I thought we fixed it. Whatever. Anyway. Yeah. It's annoying as hell. Maybe it just wants to be a lose counter. It's not a lose counter. It's a win counter. <laughs> uh, no, it's inconsistent. That's the problem. It's never consistent as to which one it does, but it shouldn't do the loser because it's... Oh, no, no, I know what it is. It's that sometimes it, it gets screwed up and doesn't realize that either team is dead, and so it just goes with whichever team is first, like numerically first, and that's usually whoever's blue and teal. I don't know why it does that, but anyway, that was that was Clan Wars for this week. So thank you, Google Frog and Kane, for joining me. Happy to. Sorry about all the technical problems, people watching, and thanks for watching. I mean, thanks for dealing with the technical problems that I was having, because I don't know what's going on anymore sometimes. Anyway, have a good night, everyone. Bye, guys. Take care. Hey, see you.